Up next, we have three position on, off, on toggle switches. The wiring for these is actually exactly the same as two position toggle switches. If you need to check out that video, it's in the description below. These have an on position where these top two terminals are connected, an off position where no terminals are connected, and a bottom position where these two terminals are connected. This is kind of like stacking two on off switches on top of each other and where neither of them function is an off, a common off, if you will. I'll be going over the three position on off on toggle switch, but if you have a three position on 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 toggle switch, the wiring is a little bit different. There's a diagram right here and the configuration is actually identical to the configuration of a three way rotary switch. So make sure to check out my rotary switch video in the link below. The ground pin goes to the middle. If you did it to the top pin like this, you could only use two of the positions on and off. It'd basically be an on off switch. But since it's in the middle, the ground can flow through these two switches. We're going to put this white wire right here to pin five. And this blue wire right here to pin six, because that's five plus one. Uh, and again, with this course, I'm just going in a row using all these pins and then these pins and then eventually these pins. You could just go around and say, I'm going to use pin 13 and 48, but that would kind of stress me out. I like going in order just because it's logical. We're going to configure this to a very practical switch that everyone will use. The runway condition position switch. Uh, I just thought I'd use this one because it's one of the offsets that all sim all three simulators have a version of, so you can follow along with your corresponding offset. But I did want to just show you this switch right here. Uh, it's all wired here, so it has one position in the middle, and then the two input um, switch switch wires on the side. This switch is super fun. In fact, I've even recorded it five times. Uh, don't ask. So let's start by going over to Extras, Settings, and Moby Flight Modules. Okay, over at Moby Flight Modules, uh, let's add two switch positions, uh, Dump Truck and Slip and Slide. You can just add them through this menu right here. They're already pre-populated, even though they, pro they won't be on yours. Oops. Uh, but yeah, just two buttons here, and then upload it. Don't forget to upload, because that would be a sad day. This one is a little bit different because there's no middle switch That's that kind of freaks some people out. But since on the Arduino right here, it's an on, off, on switch, there's not actually any position right here uh, where two wires connect. Nothing connects there. So that's why we only have these two connections for the switch, and we'll use the on release um, for those switches. So. Just upload this sketch. I think I already did it, but it can't hurt to do it twice. Press OK, and you should be good to go there. On the offset list, we're going to make two inputs. One of them is going to say, what a dump. The other one's going to say, I don't know. Again, with your titles, you want them very concise uh, and specific to what you're having. So you know that like this, this switch right here controls the runway position in as few words as you can use. Oh, so uh, let's go edit this dump right here. What a dump. And let's actually use our module. You can skip over these two tabs. We'll explain them later. Don't worry. Uh, and dump truck what a dump dump truck probably pretty confused but right now we're actually going to make a runway condition indicator for control freaks but uh basically this is a switch we're gonna add that will let you control the condition of the runway so if you want to practice wet runways you can just uh, flick it in the wet position or if you want to only have like dry runway i guess you can switch it to dry i don't really know why anyone would have this but they can and that's all that matters so if we go to six delta alpha eight just copy that we can paste it 
under FSU IPC offset from the drop down list and just paste it under offset. The size in bytes is one and let's set the value to what, what should we set it to? Dump is the one. Set the value to one over here. And yeah, there we go. When this position is up, it'll set the runway to dump, whatever that means. Probably like trash flying around. Uh, on release, same thing. FSU IPC offset. Paste this. Let's see over here. Size and bytes is one. Uh, that was said over on the offset list right here, which is quite awesome. Uh, and this value right here is going to be dry because the middle position, I, I thought we could just set to dry. Uh, so you have like dry, wet, and then dump. So yeah, zero is clean and dry, kind of like my t-shirt. Um, so let's set this value to zero because we will want it to be clean and dry. And yeah, so basically for this, uh, you can ignore the third position for for now. We're going to add it later. Basically what we're doing is on press, the up position is reading a one for dump. And when it's not in its up position, it's reading a value of zero or clean and dry. We're going to mate this together with a switch on the bottom that has the same, same deal, um, but it'll be wet when it's on the down position, when it's being pressed, and when it's being released to zero, uh, the middle position, it'll be clean and dry. So once you get those two switches together, uh, th those two actions kind of, it can either be top, and it's definitely going to be dump. You can get it middle, and it's definitely going to be middle because it's not top or bottom. And then you can get bottom and it's definitely going to be bottom because it's in the bottom position. So let's trudge forward onward space cadets. <laughs> uh, let's see, make sure to activate both of these. Otherwise you'll have a sad day. It, it happens to the best of us. Thomas, the tank engine, and this is going to be slip and slide. This is going to be the wet position. Uh, FSU IPC offset, just paste the offset. It really helps to copy the offset when you do things like this, where you just repeat them over and over. Uh, so copy the offset, size and bytes one. We don't need to mask anything because this is just a pure F offset. There's no fancy bits. But if we set the value over here, we're going to set it to two. Yeah, if we go back here, two is the wet position, which gives us a slip and slide. On release, you do want to make sure you do this, otherwise it won't come back to the middle position. Uh, but just paste it again. You will notice that uh, the surface condition, like numbers here, are a little different. So you have choice of normal, wet, icy, or snow. So you have a little more flexibility, but whatever you want. Let's go over back to the realm of productivity. And on release, it'll be value of zero. Zero is the uh, dry and clean value, just normal runway. So yeah, we can click OK for that and run through it. Woohoo! Let's see if it works. Uh, I'm kind of stressing out because I don't know if it'll work. If we go over to X-Plane, oh my goodness, that just, that really took off. I didn't even have to do anything. Which that was kind of like my uh, chemistry homework. But I would appreciate if you would land immediately. This is the United States Coast Guard. It is required that you land immediately. Let's go out of the airplane because we can't see the wheels from here uh, unless our airplane has gone terribly wrong. Shift 8 is actually outside view. The more you know. Uh, so right here, we don't see anything really happening that's fun. So we could say that it was a success. But if we flick our switch over here, we can see that like the the runway doesn't really like magically pool up with water and if we even switch it to the other position awkward so it looks like it's not really animated but uh we can show you that the numbers are in fact changing if we just make an output and don't connect it to anything so outputs are the second half of the video they're a little more complicated with like the whole like transitions and like shift it up or baby uh so so 
let's just start an output and make it keep it pretty simple. Uh, let's go slip and slide. Position. How about how about that? Go to edit, and this is a pretty similar inter interface under the base settings. You'll notice it's pretty much the same. Just paste your offset here. Size and bytes is one. Don't have to worry about that. Transform. We'll get to this later, but basically, um, it's it's basically the same here. Don't need any compare. Don't need any display because we're not connecting it to anything. We can just press OK. And oh, I forgot to activate it. Now we can see this FSUIPC value right here. And this is the value that the simulator is actually reading. So right here, it's in the middle position. You can see that here. And if we flick it up to the top position, it reads a value of one. So that's what we wanted. I believe that's dump. And then if we flip it down to the bottom, it reads a value of two. So that's, I think, the wet condition. Here we go, zero, one, and two. So it's pretty cool to see the numbers move, but the numbers mean nothing if the simulator runway doesn't change. So we are going to take this plane off. Oh, and I do want to show you something that looks pretty cool. Like put the thrust at full, and then you have the screen blurry like this, and then you like do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sorry, I get distracted easily. It's it's a difficult thing. It's in the middle position. This is like every takeoff I've ever done, uh, kind of standard, except for usually we're off the runway by now. And by off the runway, I mean in the grass, not, not in the air. Uh, but yeah, if we put this position up, magically water appears because it can. Uh, back to zero. The water, the runway is now dry. Uh, just imagine they got a huge hair dryer and now it's dry. So if we put it in the bottom position, it is uh, wet. So wet, I think, is different than dump. Uh, so it looks like this one, I think, is wet. And dump is like not very. And this this mode is called dirt kicked in your face. It's It's the weirdest of the modes because it means you're going off the runway. But you will notice uh, that that's all good. It changes the runway condition. So if you really like to practice with different conditions, you can have a little switch in your cockpit, I don't know, under the, oh my goodness, under the seats, just to make sure you can change the runway condition. Go through, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> that was way cool. I would like to point out that there's also this offset, so you can control things both in the simulator and in the environment around the simulator. So you could use offset 6 delta 9 or 0, size and bytes 8, and you could actually write a latitude of the aircraft. So you could have, uh, as they put in the example, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you could reposition the airplane with the click of a button. So you could just have a preset airport or something. Uh, and go for it. I don't know. Uh, there are all sorts of um, environmental things like you could make change the percentage of thunderstorms that are present. But yeah, as long as it has a W, you can do a lot of things with it. Probably should have found a switch that would be more practical, but this one, this one's pretty cool.